Vanderpump Rosé, you know we had to, he has no idea what that means. You know we had to, <laughs> Vanderpump Rosé, shout out. Hello everyone and welcome back to our community. I'm Jen if you're new. This is Ethan, my boyfriend. We are here for yet another wine video, but we are staying at Clapper Hollow Lodge, an incredible Airbnb. Go to, over to my Instagram, Jen underscore Lauren with two N's. I'm gonna do like a whole tour because this place is phenomenal. We're also vlogging, so you guys have to check this out. We are here to try out celebrity wines that you guys voted for. I put it in the community tab, I put it on Instagram, and you guys wanted us to try these celebrity wines. Wines. So here we go. Let's start with this one. All right. We also just drove like five hours, so we might be a little tired. Forgive us. Nothing a little wine can't fix. Okay, so we like to use the Vivino app just to see what the general rating is and to get the average price for you guys. This app, you can scan a wine when you're in a liquor store and it will tell you everyone's ratings, the average price, where you're going. <laughs> I need this. Okay, we are trying Post Malone's Maison Number no. 9 Rosé wine. That's good rosé. I just chugged that. Granted, we had a very stressful day today, so I would chug anything in front of me. <laughs> it's good. Right? Honestly, I can't even think about like what it tastes like because it's just so good. Mm, like apple juice. $22 on average, 4.2 star rating, which is amazing. And it's super dry for a rosé. Yeah, it is. It's way less sweet than any white wines. It's mm. incredible. Like I'm... We need more. Yeah. It's this is really fucking this good. Is I'm not a rosé fan. fucking good. I can't even tell you what this tastes like. It's just an it's unreal really dry right. rosé. Yeah. It's rare that we're just it, speechless. It's dry though. It, it, it's it's weird. dry, but it... it okay, it's, it's dry, but it's fruity. So like it has yeah. so much flavor, but it's, not in a grossly sweet way. And it's so light and airy. Yeah, and I, I, we, that I'm chugging we, it. We could drink this whole... Thing. We're also thirsty. <laughs> we were in the car for five hours. No, this, this, this is, is like... Really it's so light. Wow. So light. You know, like, I want to drink the whole thing it right now. It looks it's... light. I don't know if it's the glass. But... Oh, that's fucking good. That is that the is most refreshing good. fruity thing I've ever tasted. The strongest nodes that people note are strawberry, cherry, and yeah. red fruit. Strawberry? And then the second one's peach, melon, pear. And then yeah. citrus, lemon, grapefruit. Okay, I have I nothing else pear. to say about this, this except, really good. honestly, average of $22 for Post Malone's rosé that I could drink all day. Rosé all day. Fucking good. That is good. Yeah. Let's hold on the next pour because we have four more wines, yeah. but yeah. wow. Okay, Ooh. Ethan can explain this one because this is his thing. <laughs> I don't even know who I'm, he is. I've just always been a fan of Tim and Eric, and this is Eric Wareheim's wine, or he's somehow involved with, with the vineyard. I'm not exactly sure how. It's Las Jaras. So they have a bunch of different types that we've tried. This is the Glue Glue, I would say it's pronounced. We've tried it before, it's really freaking good. What I like about their wines is most of them have um, the sediment that sit at the bottom. I'm not sure if this one yeah. does. Um, I guess we'll see. I don't know exactly what a natural wine is, a natural wine. I know it's like a new a new like movement in wine. I would guess that this is a natural wine just because of the flavors. It's so different than anything else. It's wow. so, it's so like experimental. So I tell find. them how you can get it. On their website. You can't like just go to a liquor store and get Las Jaras, right? I've never seen it at a liquor store. Yeah. yeah. It's really cool though, and they have different graphics on each bottle, and every time we've had it, it's just so interesting, but we'll wait to taste it. Yeah. But the average price is $28.50. It's expensive. 4.3 ratings. Let's do it. I'm excited because I just remember being like, this is the most interesting wine ever. Also, how beautiful is this background? Cheers, Let's bro. like take a minute. Yeah. This is amazing. Cheers. Okay, before you even so sip, smelly. right? It smells so good. Did you say smelly. So smelly. But I meant like <laughs> so <strong>. smelly. <laughs> so fruity. Oh my it's god, like it's like deep. a plum. It's like yeah, it's like a but like yeah. a lot of plums. Whoa, and it's got a little bit of a carbonation on your tongue. That is the craziest wine ever. Yeah, you don't expect that fizziness on the tip of your tongue when you drink a red wine. You know so what you're saying about the carbonation? Good. And I it's think dry in the back of the I throat. I think it's that black pepper thing. Yeah, it does have. It has like plum, black pepper, like a really deep, rich wine, but it's also so light. And again, it's like you can gulp it down. Here's what I think, and I want all you guys to comment if you have opinions. Oh, he's learning! Continue. Okay. <laughs> so from what I, what I understand about the fermentation process, the byproduct of fermentation is CO2, which is carbonation. I'm making kombucha right now and it's becoming carbonated because CO2 is being 
produced from the fermentation. So wine is fermented. It's very similar. I think with a lot of wines or most wines, somehow it's not ideal to have carbonation in it and it's either um, removed somehow or, or it's just let out through whatever processes. But I think with natural wines, if this is a natural wine or certain types, they purposely keep it in and they bottle it that way so that when you drink it, you, you kind of, you, you get a little bit of that carbonation where you wouldn't in a normal wine. Um, I just tasted it on yeah, my tongue. You definitely get no, it. No, it literally tasted like a kombucha or something. I wouldn't have noticed yeah. that if you didn't call that out. It's such a deep flavor. It's so like such a fulfilling, like full body sip, but it's also not extra sweet. Their label art is also so fucking cute. Yeah, it's cool. It's really freaking good. It's California label art by Joe Bedia. On the scale of light to bold, it's very bold. It's more tannic than smooth. It's dry and it's acidic. And this makes sense. The two categories that most people say it tastes like is cranberry, cherry, raspberry, and then plum, blackberry, jam. And then yeah. the last one is really interesting. I've never seen this category on Vivino. You're not even gonna fucking guess it, I guarantee. Leather, earthy, balsamic. And how was, on point is that? I was gonna say cinnamon. I taste balsamic. Yeah. And people also, probably think we're fucking crazy. People who like can't taste anything in wines, they're like balsamic leather. This wine has a certain like thickness to it that That's also right. is similar to, to a balsamic. Kind of like a, a, a viscosity to it. Yeah, like the yeah. the consistency so is like a balsamic. It, it almost looks like it almost looks like it could be. Okay, let's finish it. Oh, you already did. Do you want some? I'm like drunk. <laughs> no, you're oh, so bad at pouring. You sorry. just always go to the side. Just pour directly. Wait, you right know what you now. could do instead, though? No, just take the glass Shush. for me. <laughs> <laughs> so this is one that I've actually tried before and it's I I'm very curious your thoughts I've okay. sent this to my best friend before because I said this is not the typical white wine that we would usually go out and purchase But my mom introduced me to it and we are obsessed. It tastes like a starburst to me It's Sarah Jessica Parker Sauvignon Blanc. So I think a lot of people know Sarah Jessica Parker's wines I think hers are very similar to like a Kim Crawford in terms of price how it's well known again 4.0 rating average price 19.99 99. This might be the cheapest one. This is what I was saying why it, why it's similar to like a Kim Crawford because it's affordable and it's a white Sauvignon Blanc. Thank you, sir. Whoa. Yeah, no, it's this is what I said. It's like it sour. Like grapefruit or like. I told you it smells like it tastes like a Starburst. Just wait. Whoa. I know. Pungent. I know. Like um terpenes. That's a bad idea. Why? That's a bad idea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a Jeez. bad idea. Sometimes I feel like it's a child. I'm a child, sometimes I feel like you're a child. That's what I said, I feel oh. like you're a child. <laughs> we don't have to garp on it. <laughs> this is so cute, you guys didn't see what he grabbed. Insane, like right? Pear and grapefruit no, you, and, and you tropical guys, fruit. You have never pineapple. smelled a wine and gotten so much in your nose. Wait, how could they do this? Other than this. How, how did they do this? It does, Seriously, isn't it like it's when like, you walk in a candy store? It's almost suspicious, like they added some artificial flavor to it. It reminds me of candy, but so mm. good, right? Mm. This is Dang. really good, and I have to say, mm. when I smelt it, I was a little worried because it, t it smelled so strong and overwhelming where I figured I would have a couple sips and maybe not like it right. so much or be over it. But it, the, t the flavor when you taste it on your tongue is way more subtle. You still get those notes, so it's flavorful. And with the smell, because obviously as you drink, you're smelling at the same time, it's like a perfect blend. It is sweet though, like I think it after is. No, but that's what's two so crazy. Of, I would be ready to. But that's what's so crazy. Yeah, Usually on. we're done after two sips. Really it's dope. dessert. We would like have Chinese food and then be like, we need something sweet and you yeah. drink this and you're good. Yeah. I don't know how much sense this makes, but it tastes, <laughs> it tastes clean. I'm just gonna leave that right there. You guys. I'm just drinking all your wine. But the fact that like, this has been my favorite affordable-ish white wine and Las Jaras has been the coolest fucking wine I've tried in the past year. And yet all I'm thinking about is having more Post Malone Rosé. Okay. That must be some good fucking Rosé. It is really good. I was still thinking about the Las Jaras, but I'm, no, I've been really into each one we've tried so far. They're really fucking good. Snack break. It's also good to get a palate cleanser going. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let me do it. I'll pour it, I'm okay. <laughs> We all know that wasn't ending well. It smells really deep. It smells more like your classical oh, red like Sauvignon. Full-bodied yeah. Cabernet, our yeah. favorite. Very different than the Lost Jarvis. Very, very different. Lost Jarvis is in its realm of its own. This is darker, deeper, more classical. Mm. But how is it so light? This one, I taste that leatheriness. It lathers your tongue. 
Like it coats your tongue, but yet it's not too deep and heavy. It's really light. I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting. I'm trying to give you guys some flavor profiles. Listen to me right now. I like this wine. I like this wine a lot. <gasps> oh. Excuse me. I like this wine. I like this wine a lot. I'm gonna keep drinking this wine. I'm gonna keep drinking uh -huh. this wine until I'm even more drunk. Uh -huh. I'm gonna keep this wine. Uh -huh. I keep drinking it. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Oh, that's it? What? Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I really like this wine. No, we got that. Oh. Um. <laughs> we have nothing to say other than it's lathery on your tongue and no, no, it's no, fucking stop. I have more things to say. You don't. I We've do. Been, you guys, I've been sitting here for three minutes. I edited half of it out. A lot of pressure. <laughs> okay? I'm trying to give you guys something accurate. Try not to seem like a complete accurate. ditz. Dit, ditz? Is that the word? Yes, for me. <laughs> it's a blend, right? So it's hard to say one thing or the next, but it's like a deep red. It's full bodied as fuck. fuck. <laughs> and it's lathery and it has a nice feeling on your tongue. Question. It's consistent. A lot of wines, they come in to the tip of your tongue. By the time you swallow it, it's different. You're trying to figure it out. This, from the moment it hits, it's the, it's the same animal. I kind of like that. Same animal? What fruit do you think is gonna come up here? Currant. Currant. Is it currant or currant? Black currant. Can someone tell me. Currant. And, and. Mm -hmm. Get this shit out of the way. Blackberry. Guess know. what the first thing is. What? Blackberry! Yes! <laughs> See, I needed a little extra time on this one and you guys gave it to me and look. You really did it, I cut it out. <laughs> Blackberry, plum, black fruit, and then the second, vanilla, oak, chocolate, and then cherry, red fruit, strawberry. A reminder, guys, like wine, there's no added flavors, right? There's no, it's not like blackberries it's being added notes. to it. It's notes. We have one last one. He has no idea who the celebrity is, but it's fine. because I I'm, guess? Based on the- You don't know who she is, is what I'm saying. She's definitely a housewife. Yeah! <laughs> what you say? I don't know who she is. Then I know. I have a sense. Killed it. I don't know any of that. Okay, so this one, a few of you guys actually recommended or voted for that we try it out, and I've tried it one time with my mom and we loved it. It's Vanderpump Rose. You know we had to. He has no idea what that means. You know we had to. <laughs> Vanderpump Rose, shout out. Mm. It was a long day. I drove the whole entire time. She yeah, he was tired at the beginning. Day. We need to loosen him up. No, you know what it is? I, I played hockey Thursday night, I played hockey <laughs> Saturday night. Most of you on. guys. I think I'm losing my hair. Thanks for the Oh god, I'm losing it. You guys give this thing a thumbs up if he's losing his hair. <laughs> um, I am. We have Vanderpump Rose to finish it off. 2020, product of France. Surprisingly, this has the lowest ratings because I've had awesome. it and I know I love it. 3.7 ratings, still amazing. Average price is $19.99. So this and this Aaron Jessica Parker are the most affordable. Cheers. Cheers. How dare you not cheers, man? Cheers. This smells like a wine that I'm not gonna love. It just smells like a lot. It smells Are sweet. you judging off of who made it? Not at all. Okay. It, it smells like a headache. No, but this smells like, like, mm. in my head. You know what I mean? All right, let's try it. I guarantee you, you're gonna find it too sweet. Watch. It tastes like strawberry fields. It's flavorful, it's tasty. You know what? It does taste like a strawberry shortcake. We have gotten lucky that every single one of these is pretty dry. Sarah Jessica Parker and this, this one is, is the sweetest. Dry. This is not dry. No. But I remember trying it and thinking it was. But I think recently I've tried some dry rosés and now I'm like, no, oh. It's almost a little syrupy. I taste it too and I'm so upset about it because I love Vanderpump. No, it's on the dry side. It was right. It's dry. Very dry. I didn't say it was Tastes dry. like strawberries and cream. That's exactly what I said. I said it tastes like strawberries. The number one thing is strawberries. It literally, if you like strawberries and cream. It's too sweet for me. Not not a bad wine though, yeah. not a bad wine. Post Malone rosé is good. unreal. All right, thank you guys for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment down below what else you wanna see from us. Please click subscribe. It means you guys won't miss another video. And if you're subscribed, all my polls will come up and I always pull you guys on what videos you wanna see next. Okay, if you guys wanna see a truth or drink, comment down below. We will answer all your crazy questions. Yeah. Stay safe and wear a mask.